Stop wasting your time learning VBA or using multiple PowerPoint animations to make a clickable interactive scoreboard. Instead, follow these four steps to make this interactive scoreboard accessible on any slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Step number one is to download the free PowerPoint add-in ClassPoint from classpoint.io. I know downloading another tool may not be what you want to hear, but trust me, once downloaded and installed, this tool will save you so much time and you'll be reaping the benefits for hundreds of presentations to come. So once you have it downloaded and installed, you can sign in and you'll see the Inkno ClassPoint tab right in your PowerPoint ribbon with all the features that it has to offer, which leads us right into step number two is adding your list of names or your team right into a class list. So however you are keeping track of scores during your presentation, whether that's by audience member or you have different teams participating, we can go ahead and add them right into a class list. So we can go ahead and make a class for them. We can give our class a name and a class code. And then we can go ahead and add those audience member names or team names right into the list. So for example, we are doing a fun team trivia um, game here. So this is my slide with all my team names. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these team names right into this list. And once all of our team names are added, that moves us right into step number three, which is gonna be awarding your scores right during your PowerPoint presentation. So to do that, let's go ahead and enter our presentation and you'll see the class point toolbar down here at the bottom and this class code. Go ahead, click on the class code and we're gonna change our class to the class that we just made. You'll see all of the names or the teams that you added into your class appear and you'll see their level and the number of stars that they have. So your scores are gonna be tracked based on the number of stars that each team has. In this window, you guys can award stars or deduct them if they were not earned yet. And this window can be accessed no matter where you are in your presentation. So let's say we go to a question, we'll ask our team our question and they tell me the answer. I can go right into this button and give the correct team their score. However, with ClassPoint, there are lots of other ways that you can earn stars for your score too. You can check out the name picker wheel that we have and award a star after they've completed the task or the question that you've asked them. Or if your audience has a device, you guys can try out the ClassPoint interactive quiz questions to get responses from your audience and then award them stars based on those. And now that we have some scores on the board, what we've all been waiting for, step number four, let's go ahead and reveal that scoreboard. So to do that, we can click on the leaderboard icon right on the ClassPoint toolbar. You'll see all of the names appear and move up and down based on their scores. So there are two types of scoreboards that you guys can take a look at. There's the current class rank, which is going to be the scores for that specific session. Or if you have ClassPoint Pro, you can check out the total stars rank, which will be a accumulation of all of the points that each team has for every time that you've used that specific class code. Again, this scoreboard can be opened at any point during your PowerPoint presentation, either from the ClassPoint toolbar or by clicking on the class code and opening it right from the leaderboard icon in the middle of the window. And that's it. Wasn't that easy? It only took us a very short time to learn four steps, easy peasy. To go ahead and use this scoreboard, don't forget to download ClassPoint, try out all those interactive quiz questions as well to really make your PowerPoint presentations transformed into something new. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up.